beautiful friend of mine. Oh my goodness. This is one of the most loved topics that I love to teach on. I love to train on. I love to talk about. Um, and I love to bring to people's attention. <laughs> and it's all about steward stewarding our time and realizing and recognizing that time is a precious gift. In the book of James, we are told that time is like a vapor, right? Our life is like a vapor. We're here one day, we're gone the next. So um, I want to encourage you today to dig into this topic with me. Um, let's, you know, begin to apply biblical principles, you know, that help us be better stewards of our time. And so have you ever had one of those days Recently, I had one of those days, like everything, nothing went according to plan, right? Nothing. Um, and you may not even have a plan. You may not be someone who follows a planner or have your time planned out um, or even know what that looks like. Or you may be the person that has every minute of every day planned out. Uh, whichever person you are, drop it in the comments. I'm, I'm anxious to see um, the viewer's opinion on this and how you operate in your day-to-day -day life. Make sure you are liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I go live so that you're getting all the best tips right, right here on YouTube um, every single week. Um, we don't want you to miss a thing, so make sure you are here. And that also helps us, right? So thank you so much for... Um, um, joining in and doing those things with us. Um, so, you know, if you ever had one of those days where you're just like, oh gosh, like everything goes wrong and nothing went like you thought it would and that you just one thing after another and, and you just, you're just off plan, you're off your routines. Well, I had one of those days just a few days ago and um, it was really, you know, eye opening to me to see how I responded <laughs> uh, because used to I would respond with a lot of frustration when things weren't going the way my planner said they should. Um, and I would also respond with a lot of guilt. So um, I would respond with guilt over the fact that, you know, things weren't going the way that I thought they should go or that I, you know, had planned or that I didn't get things done um, or the most important things done. Right. Um, and so, you know, I thrive on good time management systems um, and good routines that that's the way I thrive because I know that that time is a gift and I want to enjoy my day. And I've learned that the best way to do that is to plan and prepare. Um, and that just helps everything to go smoothly. Um, and I mean, y'all, I even teach people, right? I teach people how to do this, but here I was and I was having that day. And so it was, it was really fun for me to see the growth that I've had as a person, um, you know, and in my character, the way I responded to that day. So um, used to, I would get really overwhelmed. Like I said, I would get frustrated and I would feel out of control. Um, and, you know, I would feel like I was run ragged, all the things, right, really stressed out. But, but this day I had a different response to myself. I responded with grace. And I just had an overwhelming sense of peace. <laughs> and if you're thinking like Tabitha, like for real, yes, for real, because I knew that my systems were in place and I always pencil everything in, right? So I can go in there and I can move things around in my system to a different day and that it's okay. Um, so I gave myself some grace for that. And I gave myself some, you know, time to reflect on how I could have done things better and uh, looked at my planner, right? And move the things around and spread it out so that um, I wasn't overwhelmed with all of it on one day. And so, you know, that is what being a master or learning to master your time can do for you. In, and especially as a Christian woman in business, you not only realize that God has given you this gift of time and sometimes you're making time an excuse, right? Or you're saying, I don't have time. And that's really just an excuse because we all have the same 24 hours in the day. Um, we just have to utilize our time better. We have to utilize and recognize that um, our no should be no 
And our yeses should be yes, right? We recommit to the things. We are woman, women of commitment. So when we're committing to something, we're able to follow through with that. Well, we don't know if we're able to follow through with that if we don't have a good time management system in place, right? But if we do, we can look at those routines and we can look at that time management system and we can say our yes is a yes or we can say no is a no and we can be honest instead of just saying, no, I don't have time. We really know where our time is going and where it's being spent. And that allows us to have the greatest success. One of um, my favorite authors, uh, John C. Maxwell, says it like this. He says, the secret to your success is found in your daily routine. Um, so yes, it's very important for you, your family, your business, even your spiritual walk for you to begin to implement routines and a good time management system. Um, in the Psalms, we're told that this is the day the Lord has made, right? We are to rejoice and be glad in it. And um, we are not to be frustrated and overwhelmed with day-to-day -day life, but we are to rejoice and be glad in the day that he has made. So we know that he wants us to have days filled with joy, and um, in Ephesians, we're reminded that we are to be careful. So in Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, we're to be careful of how we live, living wise and making the most of every opportunity we're given. So that's what being a good steward of your time does. It helps you and allows you to make the most of every opportunity you're given. Um, a few years ago, a friend presented me with an opportunity and I, for, I hit her immediately with that. You know, I don't have time for that, right? I have so much on my plate. I need somebody to take something off my plate, not add to it, right? And what I really found though was that I wasn't managing my time well. I wasn't managing my day well. And I found that we do have time for the things that are most important in our lives and days, but we have to figure out what those most important things are and we have to schedule them um so how do you start like have a, you know give me some tips on how do you start with a good time management system well first of all that all starts with god first um i tell everybody i know like go to the lord and seek his counsel on what needs to go away in your life one of my favorite activities that i love to do when i'm coaching women on my personal team and coaching other women in business um, is um, a time audit <laughs> to time audit where their time is going and that really opens their eyes to the distraction and the things that they're wasting time on and so um, you know really go to the lord and ask him to reveal to you where you're wasting time and where he wants you to better utilize your time at um, and then um, ask him to reveal what what is distracting you and what you can move around um, and you know spend that time with him talking to him about it and realize that all time management systems and routines are not a one size fits all right I am working right now on my health and wellness that's a routine that I am working on and uh, my systems for that and um, it's not one size fits all, right? <laughs> Anybody hear me out there? Like comment, let me know. Um, so you don't want a Band-Aid fix, right? For your health or your wellness. You want um, something that fits you that you're actually going to do. Same thing with your, with your time management system and your routines. Just because somebody else has this routine and it looks really good. That may not be your routine, okay? So you have to figure out, or they're using this really pretty planner, um, and you buy that pretty planner, and then you never use it. It's sitting in the in the drawer somewhere. It's because that is not you. That is not the routine that maybe you needed, or um, the way you needed it. Maybe you need an app. Maybe you need to know what to put on that calendar, right? Um, so they, they're all, you know, a good time management system is tailor made to you. It's going to work for you. It's going to be something you're going to implement and something that you're going to utilize. And so just ask yourself some questions about that. Um, you know, are you an early bird? Are you a night owl? Um, are you um, better, you know, on your phone or at the computer uh, utilizing your time? Um, or are you better with pen to paper? Is it something that you can carry that you need to carry around with you? Is the size something you need to carry around with you? Do you need it posted in several places? I do. <laughs> Uh, so I have time reminders um, everywhere in different means to do that. So those are all ways that you customize your routine. And then, of course, you start looking at 
your to-do list. So um, the first step I would say in a good time management system is looking at your to-do list in your mind <laughs> and writing it all out, writing as many things as you can out on paper that you need to do. Um, making list is a great time management tool. So you're just making a list of everything that's in your brain that says, hey, you need to do this. You forgot to do this. You need to do it. Write it down so that it's out of your brain, um, especially before you go to bed at night. And then begin to look at that list and say, OK, what do I need to do daily? What do I need to do weekly? What do I need to do out of this monthly? What can be um, delegated? What can be done away with if it's not something that really needs to be done or is it something that really is pressing that needs to be done so kind of organize those into lists like daily things i need to do weekly things i need to do monthly things i need to do most important things i need to do and something that i might could hand off to somebody else to do um, so begin to to you know organize that into lists and then um, start, you know, looking at the most essential and getting those done first. Now, I'm very big on time blocking. Um, so you may work in chunks of from eight to 10 on your daily. You may work, um, you know, in chunks from 8.30 to 9.30 an hourly or 30 minutes, whatever. You can Google free time blocking calendars. Um, I'm working on creating one very soon that's going to come out, a daily uh, planner and gratitude journal all in one. So I'm excited about that. Um, so make sure you're 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 subscribed and you're subscribed to the blog so that you don't miss that when it comes out as well. Um, and so those are just some beginning tips that you can take and start creating your own time management system. Um, I hope that that helps you. If you want to dig into this more, uh, my brand new course um, is coming out and it is called 1027 Living Women in Business God's Way. And uh, I'm going to be teaching in depth on this uh, subject and be teaching one-to-one -one women how to create these time management systems and make them work for you and how to implement daily routines and time management and steward your time well, um, the gift of time very well so that you can have the greatest success in your business and in your daily life. So if you'd like more information about that, make sure you click on the link below and let's have a chat. And I hope and pray that um, you are enjoying these videos, that you're enjoying my channel here, and uh, that it is blessing you and your business in some way. And uh, with that, we'll see you next time.